should go to school. We will continue to school strike until they do something. My name is Shia Bastida and I am a 17-year-old climate justice activist. Today, I'm with Brood to share the story of the climate strike movement. On November 29, 2015, over 50,000 demonstrators participated in a global climate strike in favor of clean energy, aid for climate refugees, and keeping fossil fuels in the ground. We are unstoppable, and now the world is possible! Among the protesters were children who skipped school to attend. This was day one of the United Nations Conference on Climate Change in Paris. This agreement represents the best chance we've had to save the one planet that we've got. So I believe this moment can be a turning point for the world. But a few years later, this happened. In order to fulfill my solemn duty to protect America and its citizens, the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord Thank you. In August of 2018, a Swedish activist, inspired by the Parkland gun control student activists, staged a protest outside of the Swedish Parliament. Her name? Greta Thunberg. And the sign that you're seeing here reads, School Strike for Climate. Every Friday I will sit outside the Swedish Parliament school striking for the climate until Sweden is in line with the Paris Agreement. And I think we children should get angry and that we should make our voices heard and make hold the older generations accountable for what they have created. Inspired by Greta, school strikes started to be organized around the globe. It spread both online under the hashtags Climate Strike and Fridays for Future and on the streets. What started as a one-person strike soon gained global momentum. Do you know about fist bumping? Do you, do you believe in fist bumping? <laughs> you can do the, do the boom. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, you too. But it hasn't exactly been easy. Prime Minister, will you join me in praising these students for having a go? And will you meet with and listen to these kids who are demanding action from your government to keep coal in the ground? Mr Speaker, climate change is a very real and serious issue which demands the attention of governments at all levels. We're committed to all of these things. But I'll tell you what we're also committed to. Kids should go to school. I would say to any student considering joining the so-called climate protest, don't be a sheep and think for yourself. Because you are being used and manipulated and everything you are told is a lie. The facts are there is no link between climate change and drought. Polar bears are increasing in number. Today's generation is safer from extreme weather than at any time in human history. Our Prime Minister thinks we should be in school right now, and maybe we should be. But how can we just sit by and not do anything to protect the future of this planet? If we don't stop temperatures going over two degrees, we won't have the Great Barrier Reef. Antarctica will melt, and there will be no such thing as polar bears. My life will be so much more complicated than my parents' life because of one simple thing, climate change. Galvanised by the COP24 Climate Change Conference in Poland, school strikes continued in at least 270 cities. We have not come here to beg world leaders to care. You have ignored us in the past and you will ignore us again. We have run out of excuses and we are running out of time. We have come here to let you know that change is coming, whether you like it or not. The real power belongs to the people. While Greta got the world's attention, there's a much larger story to be told about the climate movement. 
From Standing Rock to Fling, Michigan, to so many places all over the U.S. and across the world, dozens of youth activists have paved the way for the youth climate movement to grow. Young people are standing up all over the planet because we see that climate change is a human rights issue. It is affecting especially developing countries, women, children, and people of color more than anything else. We have to realize that what is at stake is no longer just the planet, is no longer just the environment, but what's at stake right now is the existence of my generation. Youth climate activism should not have to exist. We are exhausted because we have tried everything. We've built organizations, organized marches, and worked on political campaigns. I sued my state government in a lawsuit called Piper versus, versus the State of Washington, along with 12 other plaintiffs, for contributing to the climate crisis and denying my generation's constitutional rights to life, liberty, and property. I was born into a world in which my future and my past are uncertain. Born into a world where my culture and inheritance are literally slipping into the sea. Born into a world where my people are going extinct. The strike spread throughout 2019, and the numbers kept on growing. On March 15th, our first global climate strike, we had over 1.6 million students on the street. On May 24th, we had strikes in over 130 countries in which young people took to the halls of power in parliaments, town halls, and government buildings. <laughs> Nosso sonho é ser ministro do meio ambiente e a gente não sabe se vai poder do jeito que as coisas estão. Então é uma carta para que o presidente Bolsonaro preste atenção no futuro e preste atenção no que ele está fazendo agora, porque os filhos e os netos dele também vão sofrer, não só a população. Over the summer, calls started coming for a new escalation of the movement, one led by us, the youth, but with the participation of people from all ages. The next global climate strike was set to happen on September 20th only three days before the United Nations Climate Summit. I want to do this because I want to make a difference. And of course, I don't want the situation to be like this. And that is what I'm trying to change. And um, uh, I mean, the older generations are the ones who, are, who have been causing this problem and uh, so I don't think they, they should be saying to us you should just be a normal kid and do what normal kids do but you should because they are the ones who have caused this and um, we are just trying to clean up after them. <laughs> I am. I'm going there right now. There's so many lives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. People from all over the UK and Ireland are striking right now. And look at how many people there are. Oh wow, like you cannot even see everyone who's there. Look, this is in New Delhi. Bring down emissions, not democracy. Today is going to be a very important day globally, uh, but it doesn't end here. This is just going to be, you know, a catalyst for uh, raising awareness. And it's already happening in half the world, and it's going to happen in the other half of the world right now. In Germany, 1.4 million students were on the streets in Germany. Wow, 1.4 million? 1.4 million. Nice. Very good. My brother just asked me, where am I going? Folly Square. Go get your core shirt. We do all these climate strikes for consistency. The essence of our movement is to keep on going and to keep on growing. And it's because we have a deadline. The youth are not going to stop fighting for the right to have a safe future. That's why we are here today, to call attention on what needs to happen. And we are telling not only our governments, but also businesses, we're not going to buy from you if you're not sustainable. We need to use our powers as consumers, our powers as citizens, to, to use the government for what it's supposed to do, which is take care of its citizens. Soon we're going to bring people to the front of the march. We just, Alexandria, we got numbers. There's three million people worldwide who strike, and in the in here in New York City, a hundred thousand. Oh, a hundred thousand right here, really? Yeah. Does it seem like it? Does it seem like
like more? It seems like less. Oh no, my god. I don't know if you saw. Oh, Alex, this is like. Wow. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah, of course. September 20th was definitely such a high moment in the movement. It gave us a lot of momentum, but that only means that it was, it was a kind of catalyst for everything that was to come and that is coming. And you're gonna see that in COP25 and beyond. Around the world today, uh, about four million people have been striking. We are still counting. We have not taken to the streets, sacrificing our education for the adults and politicians to take selfies with us and tell us that they really, really admire what we do. We are doing this to wake the leaders up. We are doing this to get them to act. We deserve a safe future and we demand a safe future. Is that really too much to ask? If a bunch of teenagers across the world can pull off a 7.4 million person strike, then we can do anything. <laughs> 